right, hello everybody. Um, I am going to be doing a exploratory run of I'm Scared. Everyone has played this game. Um, it is all over YouTube. Uh, I actually found a playlist just recently that was 116 videos long, just of I'm Scared. Um, and I've watched almost the entirety of that playlist. So I have probably watched literally 50 runs of this game. Um, I've played it once. I played it once uh, before I watched any Let's Plays. So that was a good time. Uh, basically what I'm going to be doing in this is trying to find all of the little things to point out about this game. <coughs> um, because of the way it's set up, uh, a lot of players will miss uh, at least one or two things. Um, and so if you watch a Let's Play, you may not see all that the game has to offer. So um, I'm going to try to compile everything. I am surely going to miss something. Um, but let's see here. Uh, and if so, I want to apologize for my sniffling. I have a cold. I'm going to try not to sniffle a whole bunch. But OK. I'm Scared comes as a RAR file. Uh, the game will soon tell us, uh, but you need to extract it. Um, I've seen Let's Players do it without extracting it, so I think it does technically work uh, still in the RAR file, but it's supposed to be extracted. So, I'm scared.exe. <coughs> you are about to play I'm Scared. Before starting though, just make sure that the folder in the .rar file has been extracted. I'm Scared needs a personal folder to work correctly, in order to work correctly. Press enter to continue. I have this sort of memorized, so I may be reading ahead. If you didn't satisfy the request, please quit the game by pressing the escape key. If instead you have extracted the folder from the .rar file, you are free to proceed by pressing the enter key. The game is about to begin. You'll need the WASD keys to move in the gaming area. The E key is what you need in order to interact with doors and objects. The shift key lets you run. Remember this, people. The shift key is very important. Otherwise, you will get stuck in the parking garage level for ages. That's like, I'd say like 80% of Let's Plays is the garage. Um, you will need the control key to crouch. Feel free to look around with the mouse. <coughs> it is important to play the game with a medium-high volume. Even your headphones will serve the purpose. You'll need to hear certain sounds in order to go on in the game. The game will try to deceive you as many times as it can. In case something goes wrong, feel free to check the folder in order to report any error. I'm extremely sorry. I didn't really want to do that. Forgive me. <clears throat> All right. We are playing a game. Okay, looking around, it's very pixelated, it's very 8-bit nightmare. Pay attention to that corner, it's not really that important, but... I need a heart in order to open it. <coughs> the wardrobe is locked. Who locks the wardrobe? You have to be really close to these things. You collected a little key. A little blob. The most annoying sound possible. I like most of the sound in this game, but that is really... I hate that sound. And look, there's blood. Very exciting. And look! It's a corner! This is pretty loud, and will actually make uh, a lot of people jump. It made me jump the first time I played it. I love this music. This is the first and main room. This room is important. This is the only room you need to enter in this hallway. Nothing over here. But over here, you collected a rusty key. this. Spooky. Remember this. 
and the music stops. The music always stops once it reaches the end of the song, and it does not loop. Um, people will freak out expecting something to happen, because you know, you're, you're so used to that in horror games, but it doesn't mean anything. Now, some people, when they collect this key, will go back this way and start trying doors from the beginning. This is smart, because the door you need in order to leave is over there, <clears throat> but you miss all the other cool stuff. This one's locked, I think. Yes. Should be locked. Now this room is pretty boss. You walk around, you look. And oh my god, it's a face. That's a little bloody... B oh! <laughs> I hate it when it does that. If you look away, sometimes it'll come back. Um, but once it's totally gone, you can't see it again. So... Now, sort of remember what this looks like. It's kind of hard to, to tell, but it's sort of important later. This is another room. This room is a gigantic troll. It's got all this crap, and you spend all this time like trying to interact with everything. Especially if you haven't found the rusty key. But there's nothing in this room. You can find the bookcases, but there's nothing. I think that the point of this room might be to um, uh, give you the idea that you need to look behind the bookcases. Um, but it may be here just to troll you. <coughs> Stuck on the wall. <laughs> She's jokingly known as Slender Woman. And a good part here. <laughs> <laughs> that horrible laugh. Uh, when I first played this, I was really, really afraid that if I got too close to this edge, I would fall down and die and ruin my progress. But you can't fall down. Oh no! Slender woman. Alright. There's nothing else to look at, and we'll have to go back to one of these doors. Um, first I'll demonstrate what happens if you go to the ladder, which is absolutely nothing. The room you need is the first door on the left here. And it's all slimy. And the door shuts behind you. When I first played this, I spent the whole time strafing. I was like, oh god, oh god. But there's nothing. The corridor is relatively safe. At least until you get here. Because, oh look, it's a little key. We're going to get the key. That's so exciting. And you collect your pulsating heart. <coughs> and then that happens. Fuck face. Okay. Uh, you get two files. You get hello.png. As far as I know, this truly is just a black uh, box. There's nothing in here. Um, there's nothing in here. Uh, I, I mean, as far as I know. I've never seen anybody find anything in that image. Um, Attention.txt is important. It's the most important text file that you're going to get in the game. There is a way to turn an entity into data. They have a life of their own, and it is difficult to distinguish them from normal computer files. In our actions of every day, while we sit at the computer, this byte entity observes us, and studies our every move in fear. The game is simple. Following the arrows is the key. If you get caught, you lose. A sound will predict its arrival. It is Whiteface. Of all the text files, this is the one you really need to pay attention to, and it's the one that not everyone pays attention to. Um, particularly, following the arrows is the key. This is super important, okay? And it is white face. It is also important. A sound will predict its arrival. Alright, you start back up the game. <coughs> Alright, hello. Do you know my name? Now, if you type in the wrong thing, <coughs> like, let's say I type in no. I made something for you. It's trying to get you to go back and look at the text file <coughs> where it says it is whiteface. <coughs> now you do have to type whiteface exactly right, otherwise you will not get into the game. It's capitalized both white and face with a space. Let's play tag. 
All right. This is the nerve-wracking parking garage level. You want to use your shift key. Now, because this is an exploratory run, I'm not going to worry about getting killed here. These say liar. Different ones will say different things. You see the double arrows? These are important. Also says liar. Now, Whiteface is probably right behind me. There we go. <clears throat> now, Whiteface is almost always going to catch you if you're not running. But if you're running, as long as you don't run headlong into Whiteface, you can always outrun him. Or her. I thought it was a her when I first played, but everyone else says him except for some other girl, um, L. Pierce, who I've seen who refer to her as a girl. So, um, I guess it really just depends. Anyway, I got caught so that you can see what happens. Uh, you get got you dot text slowly. Now, this is Whiteface being an asshole as far as we can all tell. There's no point to that. It's just slowly. It's just being a douche. Alright, going back into the game. Now, I'm going to try to show what all the different arrows say um, and also not get caught. I'm going to do this by triggering the arrows. Look at that arrow here. This arrow here is important because there's a door. It also triggers the slap. Oh gosh, I came for us for a second. And now my audio is all fucked up. And now there's no running sound. Jesus Christ. It's lagging my cow. Oh, look, one of the uh, gates. I'm running. I'm gonna turn left here. Those double arrows are important. Alright, I don't know what this one says. Um, but the double arrows are important because you need to go... Um, gosh, I'm lagging so badly right now. Uh, and my computer usually doesn't lag. This one is, I'm crying. But basically the double arrows mean there's an area... <sighs> Jesus. There's a second s direction you need to go. So you have to go through twice. Like, you have to go forward and go to the side. I think I missed... Um, there's not a whole lot of intelligible writing. Oh god, he's right behind me. Generally, I'm crying and um, I'm scared are the only two intelligible things, except for one other. There, there's the ding. That means I've completed the level. I've gotten all of the arrows. That's the important thing. Um, I'm trying to find one of the arrows that says after you. Um, I'm crying. I'm lagging really badly. Uh, this portion lags for a lot of people. I don't know why. So it's, I'm crying. That's I'm scared backwards, I believe. Ah, there's after you, I think. So you can do white face, it's not that hard. <sighs> anyway, after you is written in mirror script, so um, you have to read it backwards. I'm running in circles for a minute until Whiteface is not following me anymore. Because trying to get into the elevator with Whiteface following you is kind of a pain. First time I played it, I got caught in the elevator. I was so mad. Alright. Anyway, that ding that happened when you ran over all the arrows opens the elevator. <laughs> Lagging's getting on my nerves here. Um, a lot of people will miss arrows and then spend forever running around and trying to figure out what where they're going, but you have to hit every single arrow, and it has to trigger that jingling noise and the blood on the ground, otherwise uh, it doesn't count. Alright. I love watching you. <laughs> now, there's normally a noise that goes with that. It's this weird stuttering noise. <sighs> Goodbye, ground. Um, but for some reason, it's not happening on my computer. It happens in most Let's Plays, but... Um, and the ground disappearing seems to just be a graphical glitch. Um, I think it's because it's also doing something in the background at the same time. Yeah, like that. I'll show you what it is later that it's doing. Uh, these are upside right side up up here. Being creepy. 
part of my problem is I keep trying to run with the E key uh, instead of W. Alright, one of them is lying. There's something wrong with the gate. You don't have to do that. Uh, you don't have to trigger the, the gate thing in order to get the next uh, part of the game, but you do have to run up to the gate to a certain proximity. And that will trigger this. You follow the blood. I'm suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see that these are now upside down. Um, I believe the timer, or there's a timer for the laugh and... <sighs> come back. <laughs> uh, I believe there's a timer for the laugh and for the um, messages. You collected the gate key. Um, because it seems to it seems to always happen after a certain amount of time, no matter where you are on the screen. So I don't think that there's a locational trigger. I think it's a time trigger. One of them is lying. <laughs> Alright. I'm in the next area. There is an invisible wall here. You can't go any farther than this. And I'm back. And it's another pit. It's the same pit, actually. But now there's floor here. It's Slender Woman. Now, every single one of these doors is locked. <coughs> Even the ones you were in before. There's no point. You can just run straight to the end of the corridor. I imagine the music will cut out again. I haven't tested it here. But I think it's only like a minute and a half long audio. Now, if you'll remember, the first time the game crashed um, when Whiteface came out was because I had collected the pulsing heart. So now I can exit. Uh, you'll see in a lot of Let's Plays that there's a continuing footsteps noise. I think that happens if you're continuing to walk while you open the door. Um, I just stopped to open the door, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the difference. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Um, this is supposed to be the end of the game. You hit escape. And look at that. <laughs> and there's a laugh. <laughs> and this. <laughs> That's my favorite part to watch in Let's Plays. I will skip into a Let's Play just to see that scene. Um, the reactions are great. Um, this often opens up in people's secondary monitors, especially if they're watching... Um, a chat or something that they're streaming at the same time because it'll just open up in the browser. I think it opened up twice. Yeah, because I think I triggered it twice. Um, I think it will open as many times as a message pops up on your screen during that, that area where you're walking around where the blood is. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that that's what, that's what brings it open. Um, I'm actually going to bookmark it for a second because I've never investigated where it comes from. All right, now we have two new files. We have Take Time. <laughs> I hate this thing. Uh, we also have I'm Sorry. It's not going to let you go. I shouldn't have told you to go on. Follow my instructions. Don't let the game's appearance deceive you from now on. If things change, it arrives. Take some time and try to escape. Um, there's not a whole lot to this text file. Uh, a lot of things it says don't really have any point. Um, they have, uh, don't let the game's appearance deceive you. Um, this actually sort of does serve a point, which I'll mention while we're in game. Um, if things change and arrives, it does not. Because, um, <laughs> Whiteface is there the whole time, and I'll show, uh, the proof of that when I get into the game. Take some time to try to escape. You have no time limit. There's no possibility you're gonna die here, so there's nothing to worry about. Now, there's the big question of who made these text files. Are they by Whiteface? Because when you type in the wrong name, it tells you to go back. It says, I made something for you, to go back and look at attention. Um, but, uh, so is it Whiteface writing these? Is it something else talking about Whiteface? Nobody knows. <sighs> Let's hope I don't lag anymore. It shouldn't lag anymore. When I did a test run earlier, it didn't lag in the parking garage, but whatever. Okay. It's all white. Now, I just found this out from the last Let's Play I watched, but the door you just came through, people will run into this door a lot because you'll find it when you're walking around, um, but the door you just came through looks like this. That's so great. Um, so yeah, all right. 
You're looking around. You've got lots of doors with numbers. You would try door number one. There's nothing here. This table. I hate you, table. I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, there's more doors over here. And I think there's some more doors around another corner. But, um, yeah, more doors down here. The door you need first is here. Because this contains key one. And we can go find door number one. Um, there's something to point out here. The bookcase. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Notice the wardrobe. It doesn't have any point, but <coughs> it'll change. Alright. <coughs> it's not too hard to find the key in this room. Because we're already used to looking behind shit, so. You go down. The key is too far away. <sighs> Alright. This is where everyone gets stuck. Not. I say everyone generally. This is where I got stuck. I had to go look it up. Um, but there is a relatively easy way to complete it. However, I want to show everyone white face. I found this in one of my list, uh, Let's Plays I was watching just recently. Um, you see in the center here where there's this kind of oval shape at the roof. You think it's just kind of a gra graphical glitch. But no. It's white face. Being a creep. That's not cool. So white face is just there watching you the whole time. And you can't see because it's all white. Alright, this is why I hate this table. Look at that. Look at that underneath it. You collected some pinchers. This is how you get the key, and it is so hard to see those stupid pinchers if you don't know what you're looking for. You collected key 8, and now it's dark, and now you can see white face. That thing scared me so bad. When I first played it, I just, I couldn't even look at him. I was like, no. I didn't mean to do that. Now, I really want to see whether this triggers this without going into door 8. I don't know whether it does or not. Uh, it does not. Alright, so you do have to go into door 8. Now, let's see what happens here. Alright, um, I have been testing this. I've seen this this audio problem happen. Um, like most Let's Plays, you get that weird pitter-patter, pitter-patter, and then uh, a door opening. Um, that's probably the trigger, and therefore it was probably intentional and not a glitch. People have been wondering. Um, that's how it is. Also, hello, whiteface. Otherwise, this room is pointless. However, you have to trigger that <coughs> opening the door. Look, blood. because that opens this door, door 4. This is the room we were in with the key, and this is room 4. Um, you can go around this table, there's nothing over there, and it's more fun to go this way because... <laughs> Not cool. And Creeper's gonna creep. Now, see, he's harmless at this point, he's not doing anything. He's not going to hurt you. There's no there's no risk in this part of the game. The parking garage is the only hard part of the game. Everything else is just adventuring. <laughs> and being creeped out. You click the key 7 and now the lights are back on. Help me. I don't want to die. I'm scared. Alright, we've clicked the key 7. So I have to go find door 7, which is always hard for me. There it is. <coughs> this is my room. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? I was so scared when I did this the first time. I am scared. Alright, this is still door 7. <coughs> there's nothing on the floor. It'll look like it because of the way that the blood is, but there's nothing there. You're close. This is 
just the saddest noise. It's like really disturbing and upsetting all at the same time. And it shifts from ear to ear. You collect the key too. And it's the creepy bloody room. You collect the key six. Now you'll notice this is the down uh, ladder. On that side is the other room. All of these rooms are connected to each other. All of these areas, um, the, I meant to point it out while I was there, but the gate in the, um, in the area with the gate that you have to go through, the gate key, um, the gates along the side, um, no, I'm, I'm lying. Uh, the gates in the parking garage, um, are the other side of the gate that you see Whiteface behind, I believe. <coughs> Alright, we're now on this side. Uh, but yeah, all of these rooms are connected to each other. And you'll notice that Whiteface's room, which we'll <laughs> we saw once already, um, is the same room as you can see through the hole in the wall way at the beginning of the game. Alright, so we're at the exit. Uh, the There's no key here, and the door is closed again. It's locked. So the only place to go is the exit. We have an arrow now. see this invisible line here? That's the line trigger you have to go to. People will stop here and be like, what do I do now? You have to hit that. And sometimes it doesn't work. There we go. Congratulations. You made it to the end. But you can't escape from here. Stay with me. I will always be here, looking at you. You can get really close to him now. He gets kind of less scary the closer you can get to him, but he still creeps me out. I hate his little face. Um, there's nothing else in this room. If you hit escape, presumably you can't do anything. I'm going to try to hit escape. If this closes my game, I'm going to be kind of embarrassed, but no. You can't escape from here. You literally can't escape from here. I'd heard that that was true, but I'd never tried it. Alright, I think you can interact with the chair or the noose. But, I always use the noose. Alright, and we have two more files. We have Goodbye. It's the noose and white face up in the corner here. And zero.txt. It's alive. It's real. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't have any other choice. I'm scared. I don't want to die. From now on, remember this. The sound predicts its arrival. Forgive me. Now this one's creepy because the sound predicts its arrival. It kind of... It's, it's like it's warning you. But when you try to open the game... <coughs> it lags. But <laughs> when you try to open the game, all you get is the flash of the noose uh, because you finished the game that is the end so why is it warning you that the sound predicts its arrival also is this white face is it talking about something else is it somebody else talking about white face we don't know um so yeah that is all of I'm scared I think I've hit almost everything in the game I probably missed something um, I did miss pointing out a few of the places that things were connected to each other like I had intended, but uh, I got most of the stuff. There are some things you can trigger differently, like hugging the wall uh, in the grassy area um, will actually have white face will pop right out of the grate right in front of you. It's really creepy. Um, I think if you run, 
down the road you might get a different noise because there's a noise that comes out with whiteface sometimes uh, I didn't trigger it this time or the last time I ran it uh, a few minutes ago to test it um, so I'm not sure what causes it but uh, yeah so that's I'm scared um, it is a great little indie game um, I will have its link in the description um, along with uh, links to a few other let's players whose let's plays I particularly enjoy for this game um, it's definitely worth downloading and playing yourself because even if you've seen 50 let's plays playing it is a different thing uh, and the parking garage level will always get you like you know get you really into it there's no uh there's no just casually playing the the parking garage level um yeah so this was my first uh let's play recording it was mostly a test uh but i hope that you enjoyed it still um and i hope that some of you will stick around for some of my uh future plays so i hope to uh talk to you all again and for now bye